Hi everyone, it's Tamika L. Sims here with this week's Dope Media Report. Late last week, the United States House of Representatives passed the historic Moore Act in a vote of 228 to 164 at the federal level voted to decriminalize marijuana. Now, of course, the Senate is more Republican-led, and so the bill is not expected to make much movement there. However, the fact that it passed the House is actually a, certainly a step in the right direction for the cannabis industry. And with our new president-elect Joe Biden taking office next month, uh, we certainly expect to see more uh, legislation at the federal level as well as at the state level uh, to help to decriminalize this, um, to decriminalize marijuana, removing federal penalties, and hopefully giving individuals who have criminal records as it pertains to possession uh, an opportunity to start to live a new and better life. That's what it's all about at the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen. And if you are looking to spice up your sex life, that's right, you may want to give cannabis a try. A new report published in the Journal of Sexual Medicine has stated that there is a significant um, factor between the orgasmic state and how cannabis impacts the body. So if you and your spouse, you and your significant other have been struggling in that arena, you may want to give cannabis a try. And finally, all eyes are on Florida as they have been in huge debate about the future of legal marijuana in that state. Now, one of the things that the MORE Act will do is to establish, um, it will increase work on regulating the tax. And so that tax money will actually be used to create a trust fund. And so that trust fund will actually be set aside for people as well as businesses that have been impacted um, by the federal war on drugs. That's why the MORE Act is so important because what it does is it also removes cannabis from its controlled substances list. And so that certainly helps uh, states to um, and cities to actually create legislation that's going to relax some of those penalties. And some states have actually voted to remove it altogether. So again, as always, we're certainly going to keep you updated on what's going on at the governmental level. Now, in Florida, the statistics produced has stated that Black Americans are four times more likely to be arrested for marijuana possession. And so with the establishment of this trust fund, what that means is that more Black and brown people will have an opportunity, again, to change their life. And we can certainly start to um, change those statistics and put them in a different direction that will, again, hopefully remove those penalties so that individuals can get home ownership, so that they can move into the cannabis industry legally, if that is their their desire. And also, if you've been arrested for a small ounce for simple possession, then more than likely that means that you're not trafficking. And so there's certainly room for us to change the law in this country. So that is all for this week's Dope Media Report. Hey, guess what? We have some great interviews coming up for you on Cannabis Kids TV. So you want to make sure that you stay real close as well as follow us on our social media if you aren't already. That is at Canna underscore Biscuits on our Twitter as well as our Instagram accounts. And please make sure that you continue to subscribe uh, to the channel Cannabis Kids TV on YouTube, as well as subscribe to our YouTube list that can be found on our blog, and that is at CannaBiscuits.com. That's all for today, ladies and gentlemen. I'll see you next time for the Dope Media Report.